Hi everyone, this is Dawn Olszewski and welcome to another episode of How'd She Do That? And today, I'm going to do a quick tip on how to get a nice, clear, sharp image with your rubber stamps. Okay, so um, the ink that I'm using is called Night of Navy and the stamp set that I'm using is called um, Come to Bethlehem. Now the reason I chose this, well first of all, because of the cute card that I made. This is a um, wonderful card for the holidays. Um, but this has a solid image on it. And this is um, solid images, especially large ones, are kind of notorious to leaving kind of some splotchy areas, especially if you don't get them inked up right away. So let me give you some a couple tips. I had a question from a reader recently who asked me how I got clear, sharp images. Most of the time I don't have any trouble with that. Um, some tips I have about that is make sure you get your ink, your excuse me, your stamps inked up really well. So I tend to do like a twist and turn a little bit with it and then a tap, tap, tap. But you can also see I am inking this really large stamp upside down. I can see what I'm doing. I can see, maybe see where I'm kind of missing some ink. So that is a couple tips right there for you. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come in with our paper. And of course, we're going to stamp it. Now the other tip that I have with stamping is give some pressure to that, especially these large ones. The smaller ones you don't need to do that quite as much. Let it kind of hang on your paper for a few seconds. Alright. And there you go. So now if we come in closer you can see I am still getting a little splotchiness. Okay, and we're going to touch that up using our ink pad. And I'm going to close that. I'm going to come out here so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to squeeze the lid against the ink pad. All right. And what's going to happen is that the ink is going to pool on the lid there. All right. Then we're going to take a blender pen. These are great. They come in a set of three. And they have two tips to them, but both tips... Um, do the same thing. So I'm just trying to get all of this in the screen here for you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to just touch the um, my blender pen tip to the ink, pick up some of that, and I'm going to just add it to the areas that have just a little bit of kind of that what I call splotchiness to it. And just kind of blend those in here. Okay. There we go. Now, do you ever find when you first ink up your stamp that you get a really, not a very good image at all, but then the second time um, you go to stamp with it, this is in like the same stamping session, that it inks much better? Well, I find it's kind of like priming your stamp. So um, go ahead and ink up your stamp and then just stamp it on a piece of scratch paper. And then the next, then the second time you ink it, it seems to grab it a little bit better. So that's another thing. Kind of save your, your good paper for that second stamping and stamp off on your, um, kind of your practice sheet if you want to call it that. But there you go. So we filled that in. That looks really nice. And these, as these are going to dry, they're going to blend in really nice. So there are some tips for you on getting some nice, sharp images with your stamps. So I hope you enjoyed that. And stop by and visit me at www.dostampingwithdawn.com. Thank you.